All right, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, it is not a fluke. It is not a joke. It is I, El Jefe 1974, uh, coming at you with uh, maybe a little bit different program this week. Um, just to give you guys a flavor, I was just doing a little research, and not that I wanted to stop shaving, although here's the elephant in the room, right? Like, what, what the hell is that? <laughs> um, the last video I did was October 2017, so that's going on four years ago. Uh, and a lot's changed uh, in that time. Uh, you definitely see behind me, I'm, I'm in a different location. I, I now have an office. Um, so to get, bring you guys up to speed, um, in a nutshell, still doing project work uh, for my firm. Um, I ended up moving to Georgia for a little while, and then uh, I moved back, And then, but I kept the condo. Now my son is in Georgia. He goes to Georgia State University. Um, but really, I'm just looking to get back in, uh, do some additional shaving videos. So yes, the, here in the in the offing, th this is going to come out. I know a lot of you like seeing the full full beard removals, so I'm still kind of working through that. Um, but what I like to do today, um, and, and you guys know me, I'm as direct as they come. I need two more subscribers to get to 50, so that if I do do the live straight razor shave, um, I can go ahead and do that. So I'm just two two body short. So I'm going to put this video out today so you guys can look and see. And I know a couple of the, the big shavers um, have asked, you know, for, for us to put links in there just to kind of help us out. And I, I think I'll take advantage of that. Um, I don't know so much if I'm going to revamp the channel. Um, I, I think everyone just likes either, you know, the beard products or, or the shaving. Um, for those of you that are uh, going to tune in first and go back in time and, and look at my, my stuff, uh, just a couple other things. Uh, my firm allows beers, beards now. That's why I didn't have a beard uh, up until the ripe old age of 47 years old. And that was this year that, um, you know, they let us do that. So I said, well, let's go ahead and let run, let one rip, so to speak, and see what it looks like. And uh, yeah, we're, we're looking pretty good. So I think what I'm going to do today is just what have I been doing for my beard, beard care regimen since January of this year? Um, and then we'll go from there and we'll get some extra subscribers and then I'll decide on when I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. So um, I did get a new straight razor. I got a Joseph Smith and Sons uh, clear, clear scales, 6 uh safety razor with the barber's knots. Just a beautiful razor. Um, I've done my neck, but that was, uh, that was a couple days ago. Um, but I'm still using my safety razor. I still, I still clean up down here, right? Um, a, a couple other videos on how to how do you just trim this back, you know, just a little to get some of the the whippy hairs, <laughs> so to speak. Um, you know, and I'm digging it. Being a bald guy now, it's kind of neat having a set of hair to take care of. I haven't had that for a long, 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 long time. Um, I still do use my uh, 1959, or excuse me, my 1960 Fat Boy. My son has a 59. Uh, I do do the dome, so I'm, I'm a little delinquent there, but but I'll get to that either today, tomorrow. Uh, this being the Thanksgiving week. All right, so let's just get to it real quick. Um, just appreciate you guys having me back on. So what do we have here today? So we're going to oil up the old beard with Mountaineer brand 100% natural beard oil. Um, this is from that company. Again, I'm not shilling for them. I just bought this on my own because I had to get started somewhere. Um, and the scent here... Um, they don't really tell you. Oh, citrus and spice, and I, I could have told you that. It's basically a lavender, a little little clovey, R real nice, R and real nice oil that does a lot of a lot of great things. Um, and then something my son recommended, and you guys who will go back and look at videos, you'll see <laughs> Benny in there. You'll see my youngest in there. Uh, but Benny, the the guy that did the um, uh, haircut and shave company brush with me. Um, he he has a beard now himself, and and he really likes this. And and I'm gonna go ahead and show this. I'm not used to doing this from a desk. So, uh, Old Spice beard balm uh, shapes and defines the beard. It says, and it I, it doesn't smell like Old Spice. Um, to me, it just smells like a very clean. Um, I don't know, not carnauba. That's probably the wrong wrong oil. But just like a, a clean scent, and it goes really well with the Mountaineer uh, beard, so we'll be using that. So for those of you that maybe are on the fence, maybe traditional wet shaving is not there for you. Maybe you're just, you're, maybe your company says, hey, you can have beards now too, and you're thinking about going this direction. Well, wh what have I been doing? Well, I, I think my hair looks great. Um, I did buy a dedicated um, shampoo for beards. I got that from Sterling Soap Company. So <laughs> Rod, if you're out there watching. 
that's a plug for you guys, but just because I like your products. Um, so I use that. I use a dedicated beard shampoo uh, twice a week. The rest of the time, I'm just using, you know, just water and a very light soap to wash that off. So the beard prep is this simple. First thing I do is, is you, you want to have a brush, right? I know, I know you guys wanted me to do this, so that's why I'm just kind of horsing around, right? So you need, you need a brush and you need a comb. So here's a comb right here. And so what you're going to do is you're basically going to rough up your beard. You're going to add some oil. You're going to use said comb to then brush the oil into basically the pore in your skin. Because what, what makes everyone grow a beard and then they go nuts and they're going like this all day long is those follicles just get, they, they get dry, the skin gets dry, and it gets irritated. This, this gets the, smooth, the skin smooth. You know, it gets the hair down to the follicle, makes the beard nice and shiny. No, no different than you applying an aftershave balm, right? And then we go through, we'll, we'll brush it, shape it, in other words, and we'll take the balm, and the balm is like pomade. You put the, you put on the shape that you want. Um, in this case, I just have, you know, 50s old guy shape. <laughs> and you just put it on there and just, you know, it helps just keep the whippies off, but it also makes the beard soft, right? It makes it really nice and smell good. So here, so here we go. This is what I do. Or been doing. I just go nuts. So step one, make yourself look like the Smith Brothers cough drop guys. Maybe some of you remember who those guys were, right? <laughs> these crazy late 1880s guys who had all these like weird, right, beard shapes. And I just, I just sit here and I just, I just go crazy. I push and we push and we push, right? All right, so I just want to pull out, pull out some more. Just pull out, pull out, pull out. Okay, step one. Okay, so pretty, pretty bushy. Step two, take the beard oil. Give it a good shake. Now what I do is I use a little bit more because. Well, one, I'm a bigger guy, and two, I've got a little bit more hair. So about that much. Ten hits. Ten seconds. Do the Mr. Miyagi. Okay? Work it in. Work it in. Yes, those are my hands. Work it in. Work it in. Lift up on the old jowls. Work it in. All right. Now, what if you have extra? Wipe it. No, you don't, don't wipe it on yourself. But you do wipe it on yourself. Here's what I do. You guys know how I feel about the dome. Be proud. Don't worry about being bald. Bald is good for you. All right? It's oil. <laughs> it's great for the skin. Okay, and if you got a little access, you can wipe off whatever, have a towel. I got a towel off to the side, but this is good. It's good stuff. Okay, now you take the comb. Now we're just going to come not on an angle like you're combing your hair, right? Just you, we're going to take this thing straight on and come down, and what you're doing is you're bringing that oil into the skin, okay? So it just looks like this. Again, I'm not styling. We're not profiling. This is just nothing more than to work that oil. Back into the skin. That's all I'm doing. Just making the hair and skin feel good. So look. That looks pretty good. Okay. So I'm good there. Now, I said I was going to take the brush. And I said, and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start working this in uh, before I put on the balm. So... <laughs> Funny part is, I, this is how I've been doing it. Come straight down. And 
just, again, we don't have to go nuts. And then what I like to do, because I like it a little closer to my face, is I do this. I find that it grows kind of that direction to kind of go against it a little. I've just been bringing it back. I need to take a peek. I don't have my glasses on. Take a peek. Yeah, I got one or two hairs. Stick it out. Okay, that's where the balm comes in. So I'm going to take the balm. And I just go. Get it in the hands. Ten seconds. Get some heat. Get some heat on there. That's why I said the Miyagi. All right. Now just pat it down. Take a look. We've got a little X there. Okay. And then if I want, right, if I think that if I think it's just still too a little choppy, That's it. And if I have access, wipe it on my shirt? No. Get it up here. <laughs> Pretty clean. If, if there's a little bit, I got a towel over here. So, all right. Well, thank you everyone for joining me. Yes, please, if you haven't already, please hit the like button. Please hit subscribe uh, to my channel. I am going to get new content, content out here now that I'm freed up really from a work perspective and, and, and the body of work here is really winding down to the point where um, I'm not buried under 80 hours of work anymore. So uh, thankfully for that. Um, but we will be doing some shave videos pretty soon. So we'll make sure that, you know, when you subscribe, you hit the, not the notification bell is going to let you know that it's coming in. But I'm back, baby. I want to start working on this. And uh, if I get over to that 50 mark, we can go ahead and do a live and we'll, we'll do the live shave and, and get this thing off. Um, and then we'll move forward and then we'll just do some, you know, straight razor shaves. My goal ultimately, but I'm not going to do it on camera because they, they don't like blood here <laughs> on YouTube. My goal is to get myself proficient doing a head shave with a straight razor. That, that's where I'm going to pick up on my skill set. And, and I think if I can do that from here and then pick it up again, I think things will be, be in a lot better position. All right. So with that, uh, as always, uh, safety tip for this week. Uh, Thanksgiving is this week, a big, big, big holiday here in the United States of America. Our Canadian uh, brothers and sisters just had theirs last month. With it being on a Thursday, um, please don't drink and drive, right? If, if you think you're going to have too much, right, the Ubers, the Lyfts, unless they've decided to just get completely overpriced, which, which they are now, but that's a su subject for another day. Um, use them. Have someone get your ride home. Don't drink at all. You know, maybe have some water, some just, just coffee. And just value the time with friends and family as we've come out of these just strange times with, with the COVID-19. So uh, with that, I want to thank everybody. Uh, and as always, remember, be the boss of your shave and your day. All right, with that, we will let you all go. So long, everybody.